<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode number five of our basement makeover series. I am so excited for today. I feel like we're finishing up a lot of different projects. I also want to say a big thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video, but I will be sharing a little bit more about them later on in the video, but we have a ton to get done down here. So the first thing that we have to do is just, of course, tidy everything up. I need to go through the boys' rooms, the main area down here, and just clean everything up so we have a nice clean space to start with. And then we are going to be adding something onto this wall. I am so excited to share what it is and just how it will turn out. I also have our hall closet down here, which is kind of like a Monica's closet. If you guys watch Friends, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is a complete mess, so we are going to tackle that and just make that closet some really useful storage space for us. I also have an item that just came in in Luke's room. If you saw episode number four where we tackled Luke's room and decorated that space, one of the items was missing, and so that came in, so we'll be adding that in today. And then we will also be making up kind of like a homeschool station for the boys. They are not actually homeschooling, but they are doing online school this year, and so I really wanna make sure that I'm setting them up for success this year because it will be a a little bit of a challenge just doing something different so like I said we do have a ton to share today we have a ton to get done so let's go ahead and jump on into it So before I got into decorating our homeschool station, I wanted to tidy everything up downstairs. And of course it does get messy, but honestly, since doing the past several makeovers down here, I have found that I can typically tidy up the rooms in just a few minutes each. Now as time goes on and we accumulate more things, I know that this will be something that I have to declutter and keep up with of course, but it has just seriously made the biggest difference having organization systems in place down here. It's actually made me really excited to head back upstairs again in the coming months and start decluttering the spaces up there and just kind of reassess the organization systems that I have as well to see if there are some areas that I can change up to work better for us and I've also said this several times but organizing and decluttering is just one of those ongoing projects that it just kind of needs to be done over and over again as life happens so definitely keep that in mind but it is always so worth it just to put in that extra time and effort to reassess those areas that used to work for you that may not anymore I had told Luke yesterday to bring his laundry down and put it away and he must have gotten sidetracked I'm sure because his laundry is sitting here not put away so I'm actually gonna call him down and have me help have him help me put this away and then I'll move on to Noah's room but I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you the sticker that came up for Luke's wall that we're gonna put like on this wall right here it did come a little bit damaged. It just took way too long with shipping and everything. And so it got kind of bent in the middle. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it work or if we'll have to order like a replacement one. We'll see, but we are gonna try to put it up on the wall because it is here and then we'll kind of go from there. But I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It just looks super cool. So you can kind of see on the back side like how wrinkled it is and bent. It just had gotten completely bent in the tube. But this is what it looks like. And so it kind of, looks like it's actually coming out of the wall. I don't know if you can kind of tell right there. You probably can, but anyway, it's his favorite car, the same car that we did in his whole room, which is the Bugatti Chiron. And it's really, really, like you can see how it is on a big bed and that's gonna end up going right there. That's one thing that we're gonna put up today a little bit later on, but I'm gonna grab Luke really quick to help me get this done because he totally forgot.
So one thing that I get asked about all the time is what ages we started our boys with doing chores and helping with laundry. So we have always kind of tried to include them in the basic upkeep of our house ever since they were toddlers. So nothing serious, but just things like clearing their plate, helping tidy up their toys, and helping me as I would unload the dishwasher or the laundry. And as they got older and able to start helping more or taking on more responsibilities, we have given them chores like they all unload the dishwasher daily, they feed our pets, most days they're responsible for their bedroom and then as far as laundry goes both Liam and Luke will put away their own laundry all the time and then with Noah he will either get help from one of his brothers or myself and that's typically how we do things in our home but one thing that I think has benefited us so much was there wasn't really one day that we just decided to start including them since they have been little they have always been a part of it even if they didn't really do much when they were really young, they were always with me and just included in the process. So it was just kind of a natural process for them to start pitching in a little bit more and more as time has gone on. So this is a lot of the stuff for like their homeschool station. So I am going to be keeping this down here, but I'm just gonna kind of move it out of the way so that I can vacuum all over everywhere. And there's Felix getting into stuff. All right, everything is all nice and picked up. Now I just have to run our vacuum over the floor really quick. And I'm actually going to use my Dyson today. I usually don't use that one very much, but I just want to do a really quick pickup and I don't want to spend a ton of time down here. And I did just recently vacuum, so that's why I'm gonna use that one. But usually I do use my shark vacuum, but we have so much to do. We are just gonna go for the quick crowd today. Okay, so everything is all nice and clean, but while everything is clean and before I get into other stuff, because I know a lot of the rest of the day I'm going to be just focusing on doing some projects down here, I really wanted to spend some time with the kids and this gave us a good opportunity to do our KiwiCo boxes. I am super excited. This is the first time that we've actually done them hands-on, but I'm very familiar with them. All the kids are coming down now because they heard we were doing them now, so I'm super excited to try them out and just share them with you guys. Are you guys ready to do KiwiCo? Yes, 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 yes. So like I said, this is our first time trying out the KiwiCo crates and it was so much fun both for our boys and it was also really neat for us just watching them put everything together and seeing their minds work as they went through each step. So KiwiCo is really, really neat because they have eight different lines to choose from depending on your age and interest. So for our boys, we ordered the Koala Crate for Noah and the Kiwi Crate for Liam and then the Tinker Crate for Luke. But it was really neat because I felt like all the different crates were at the perfect level for our boys and also everything you need for each project was right inside the box. So we didn't have to be running around the house looking for glue or tape or just any extra materials. Every single thing that we needed was already in there. And so I felt like that was just super nice. And another thing that I love about Kiwi Co. is that they create really neat hands-on projects and toys that include science, technology, engineering, art and math, but in a super fun way. So while they're creating whatever's inside their crate, 
They are having fun and learning at the same time, which I always feel the best way to learn is when you don't even realize that you're learning just because you're having so much fun with it. And I feel like this is going to be especially perfect for so many of us who are either doing online school this year or a hybrid school schedule where our kids are just getting less opportunities for hands-on experiences. It's something that can really help us with cutting down on screen time and just entertain them in a better way. So KiwiCo has different options on their website. They offer monthly subscriptions where you can have a box delivered monthly or you can also head to the KiwiCo store and order single projects whenever you want. And just like the crates, the single projects are for all different ages and they also have different price points, which is super nice to be able to find something that fits into everyone's budget. Also, because you'll know I love finding good deals, I'm really happy to share that if you use my link, you can save 20% off of everything on their website. So that includes every single thing in the KiwiCo store and also all of their subscriptions. So to get that amazing discount, just go to kiwico.com slash this crazy life and I will also have that in the description box for you guys just to make it a little bit easier but let me know in the comments if you guys have ever tried KiwiCo before and also what your favorite thing about the crates are. Let's see him rainbow wig. Wow this one is cool. I know look at the other one. Can't tell what you did. Gonna wait till we push him just a little bit then you move it and I eat them all up. So that was so much fun. I feel like the boys had a blast. We we're definitely gonna be getting more Kiwi Co's in the future. But now that we are all done with that and the kids have had like just some really fun time together as a family, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the rest of my to-do list. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is actually go ahead and make the little homeschool station just because that is a really high priority. And then once that do is done, we're gonna finish like decorating like this wall right here and then also tackling that Monica's closet that I had mentioned earlier. That one's gonna be a chore, so I'm not sure if I'll save that for last or try to get out of the way early, but next we are going to do the homeschool station. All right, I have just laid everything out on the table. I feel like we do have a lot of stuff, but I do kind of like to stock up a little bit when you can go to stores right now and everything is on a good deal because of back to school on things that I know we'll be able to use, like markers, colored pencils, notebooks, things like that. And so I do tend to get what we need and then a few extra just to last throughout the year. And if we do end up having extra, I am able to donate to the schools. We've done that in the past too. So that's kind of why we have a good bit but I'm also just going into uncharted territory of doing this at home and so I'm not really sure what we're going to need and so I'd rather be a little bit more prepared and go from there. But the thing that I'm going to be using the most to make a little homeschool station is this little three-tiered rolling cart. I'll link it down below, but I found it on sale and it is just, I think it's going to be really, really useful and it's also pretty compact, so it's not going to have to take up a ton of the room. I'm turning you guys around and kind of show you and then we'll get that put together. This is what it looks like. So it's just like really functional. It does have wheels on the bottom so you can roll it to different places, but then it has these three different sections and they do have like a tall lip so that you can fit things inside as you can see. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to building this thing. This was like the easiest thing to build ever, ever. It was so easy. And then I had just gotten these organizers from 
the container store as well, which is where I got this from, and this little pen holder, just to like keep things really nice and organized. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna set it up, but there it is. Time to organize this baby. So that took no time at all to put everything together. I did kind of organize things like this is Liam's stack and then this is Luke's stack. Those things are actually going to be going in their bedrooms, which is where they have their desk, which is where they're going to be doing most of their school. And then I do have kind of like a centralized station right here. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and kind of show you what I got. So right here we just have some different pencils. And then right in here where I have these little organizers, I have some glue, glue sticks, tape, some of these white erasers, they actually work so much better than the pink erasers and then some pencil topper erasers as well. I also just have some watercolors, markers, a few paints, these are mostly for Noah, and then a stapler, some different markers and colored pencils. And I just realized I must have forgotten crayons, so I'll have to go back and grab those. And then on the second tier, I actually have Noah's little workbooks just because he won't be doing actual school. He'll be kind of doing like a more homeschool type stuff with me. And so I just have some workbooks since he doesn't have an actual desk in his bedroom. And then here we have some construction paper. And then down in here, this is what I was talking about, like getting a bit of extra. So I got five extra notebooks in case if anyone needs extra notebooks. I also got a pencil sharpener and then I did get a hole punch, a three hole punch. So I think that this should honestly cover us for like most of the year, if not all of it. I just want to get you on my grid sometimes, on my grid sometimes. All my friends are saying that I waste my time, that I waste my time. All right, next on our list, we are going to tackle this big wall right here. So on Etsy, I went on and ordered, it's called a wooden travel map. I will link down below the one we got and you can get like different sizes, different colors, but I just thought this was something so unique to have in this space and something that is like still very neutral, but just something, I'll just show you guys, you guys will see it. It's super, super cool. So this is the box that it came in. And then inside it's all really nicely wrapped and then this is just like an example of what it's going to look like everything is kind of like different colors you can get it all the same color all different colors and then this one also i hope you can see that it kind of has like some raised texture sometimes so it's super cool and then they also gave like there's a little hole in the middle where you can put i think it's a paper airplane to the places that you've been to so let's go ahead and get this put up on that wall. This was such a big project, but it turned out so well. I am so excited to show you guys, but I'm also going to be including some outtakes of Kyle and I at the very, very end of this video. So if you are in need of a good laugh, stay tuned for that, but no judgment. This was all totally worth it. 
but it made for such a long day. So definitely stay tuned for that. It was just making me crack up as I was editing this video. So I definitely wanted to include that for you guys. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Oh, it's lovely <laughs> So that took so much longer than I was anticipating it. If I would have thought about it, I would have realized it's probably going to take a couple hours to do this, but it looks so cool. I love like the different heights and different textures and like all the different colors. I just feel like this is exactly what we had in mind when we kind of like were trying to design the space down here and it just could not have turned out better. So I'm gonna show you guys like a view. First, I'm gonna have to clean up this mess down here, but this is just like the coolest thing. And it also comes in different sizes. I think we got the extra large. They had an even bigger one and then they have lots of them. They had an even bigger one and then they also had some like several different smaller ones as well So I love love how it turned out. They also come with these cute little push pins They are like little paper airplanes and you can put them up on the map just wherever you visited So you can kind of see like the little holes that they can go into so Kyle and I have both never been outside the US So I think we're gonna wait until we go outside of the US to poke to put these little guys in but that will just be cool to like hopefully one day fill up obviously not everywhere but a lot of places that will be really neat <laughs> Next, we started putting up the big wall sticker that had finally arrived in Luke's bedroom, and I had just gotten this off of Etsy, so I'll link it down below, but I think it just ended up adding so much to his space. So it's not perfect, but... It does look pretty cool. So we're gonna bring Luke down to show him and see what he thinks. All right, Luke, you ready? Oh my, I love that. You love it, isn't that cool? That looks so cool. It totally looks like it's coming out of the wall. Yeah, look at like it's like coming out. Yeah. That's so cool. Wall is cool. That is cool, huh? It it's looks, literally a wall. It's literally a wall. That's pretty cool. What kind of car is that? Um, a Bugatti. A Bugatti. All right, so we got the homeschool station done. We got the big world map put on our main wall, or one of the main walls in the living room down here. 
we got Luke's poster put on his wall. And last, we are going to tackle my Monica's closet. So get ready. Yikes. So in here we have some decor. We have like, you can see how dusty this is. And so I need to go through, I need to declutter a bunch, toss out some things, maybe if they're broken or we don't need them anymore. And then decide if we're going to put some things in our shed or what we will be doing with them. But we really want to clear the space out so we can really utilize it well. So I pulled everything out of the, sh not shed, but the hall closet down here is kind of like a shed. And I just have it sprawled across the floor right here. And I'm about to go through and start decluttering everything. And I'm just realizing the last time that I decluttered in our basement, like a really big declutter, was when it was literally studs. Like I think Kyle had put up a few boards here and there. It was back when Liam and Luke's room was completely packed full of everything that we had just moved into this house and we didn't end up using a lot of it. And so we donated a ton of it, but that was the very last time that I like really did a big declutter down here. So it's kind of surreal and kind of funny and crazy to be decluttering now that everything like there's walls and everything's done. It's just, I don't know. It's just like so crazy to me. But enough talking, it is time to tackle all of this and decide what we are keeping and moving out to the shed or putting in our house or what we are going to donate. So I wanted to take just a second to let you guys know about my fall decorating since I have been starting to get a lot of questions about if and when I will be sharing a fall decorating video and I absolutely will be sharing a fall decorating video this year just like every other year and it's actually going to be coming out next week. I cannot wait to share that with y'all. I have just been so busy with our basement makeover series that I feel like fall has come up way too quickly for us this year and so I definitely feel like I'm a little bit behind but it's better late than never so that will be coming very very soon so definitely stay tuned for that. Also I would love to hear how you guys are planning to decorate this year if you do decorate for fall as well. Are you going to be going more traditional or a little bit more neutral or some different colors? Just let me know in the comments. I always love hearing how you guys do things as well and I cannot wait to share how I will be decorating this year. All right, all of these are things that we are going to be getting rid of. I have to wash this before we donate that. These are things that, just some decor items that we're still keeping and we're just gonna put out in the shed because they are seasonal. These are things that we will be keeping too. Like I might use this for a makeover. Um, this one might be for a makeover. This is like an air mattress. We have some picture frames right here. These are going to obviously just go out to the shed because I will be having some seasonal decor to put in there. And then this is a lot of 31 stuff because I used to sell 31 years ago. And I'm just going to be donating this to people <laughs> that live around us, like in our neighborhood, and just seeing if they can use this. It just needs to be wiped down and then I'll be able to share that with them. No more with 
So I hope that you enjoyed this video and all the little projects that we did in our basement today. I love how everything turned out, especially the map wall. I feel like that is just so cool. But I hope it gave you tons of cleaning motivation and also lots of inspiration for your own home. And don't forget to go check out KiwiCo. I will leave that link down below so you can take advantage of the 20% off everything sale. And remember to stay tuned for the bloopers here in just a minute. But I hope you guys have the best day. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and join the family. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Like the sun by the moon, he's a star, and baby, I'm lighting up like a fool. It's true, it's true. It's good thing I'm here for this. You know that? You know, I could do this. You built furniture wrong three times in a row. I actually built the screws upside down on that cart, <laughs> but I found it. No, hey, no, 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 this is Sweden and Finland. You think it's down here? <laughs> I don't in the know. Desert? Oh, I don't know where any of it is. Norway, Sweden, and Finland. What comes to your mind? Europe. Snow. Lots of really? snow. Really? Wow. They're very cold countries because Ooh. they're very north over here. Oh, all right. The Alps. Have you ever heard of the Swiss Alps that go through Saudi Arabia? <laughs> no, you haven't. Well, this is why we need a map so that I could learn these things. <laughs> Here, look, it's easy. <laughs> what are you doing to Chiaro? Stop it. Do you know what that city's really called? Charo. It's Cairo, Egypt. You oh. never heard of Cairo? Chiaro. Do you know what I did? <laughs> Chiaro. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, do you know Cairo. what I did? Kyle, do you know what I did? It's in... where the pyramids are. Wow, really? Yes. I would not have guessed that. I Did thought you? that would be like a Rome city. Okay. All right. Just to, I just come wanna, back. I just want to ask something real <laughs> quick. Okay. What country is Rome in? Italy. No, it's in Rome. It's just its own country. Right? <laughs> Do you know what I did during oh, geometry? I is I wrote did. notes to you. Yeah.